بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ڈاکٹر ثاقب خان سائنس اکیڈمی ٹوڈے وی ول لرن اباؤٹ فٹنگ دا ڈیٹا ان فرینڈج ایڈزاپشن آئی سو تھا بفور دس وی فٹڈ دا ڈیٹا ان ٹو لینگ مور ایڈزاپشن آئی سو تھا اینڈ پرائر ٹو دیٹ وی ڈٹرمن دی ریٹ آف ریئیکشن آف آور ایڈزاپشن ڈیٹا ٹوڈے وی ول فٹ دا ڈیٹا ان فرینڈج ایڈزاپشن آئی سو تھا This is the equation for Friendlich adsorption isotherm long Q, log QE is equal to log KF plus 1 over N log CE. K or KF is Friendlich adsorption constant. N is the Friendlich adsorption exponent. On the basis of N, we determine that whether our adsorption process is favorable or non-favorable or less favorable. So if the value of N is equal to 1, This means that there is re- linear relationship. The adsorption is linear. If the value of n is more than 1, is greater than 1, this means that the f- adsorption process is favorable. There are more additional sites available for the adsorption. But if n is, the value of n is less than 1, this means that it is unfavorable. Most of the sites are, are being favorable. Uh, are covered so from this equation we will calculate the slope and intercept slope our slope is 1 over n while our intersect is log kf in our in my previous videos i explained how to calculate different values the qt q e q max so we have we did seven experiment on initial concentration from 10 to 100 ppm and on at equilibrium time we calculated our ce value if you remember in a in our last explanation for pseudo first order reaction i explained that we did the experiment till 180 minutes and in 180 minutes 60 minute was our equilibrium time we calculated from there that 60 minute is our e- equilibrium time for different concentration so for all these concentration we t- took 60 minute as a- our equilibrium time and a- at that equilibrium time we cal- we determined the ce value in this case we used dyes but maybe in your case it can be metal it can be uh some pharmaceutical drugs drugs or some other po- pollutants or sub uh, some other uh, nutrients which you are studying so this is ce is our concentration at equilibrium at equilibrium time we will calculate the log of this log ce and copy this formula till 100 ppm QE is equal to you know the formula if you have seen uh, if you have watched my l- previous videos the QE is equal to initial concentration minus concentration and equilibrium multiplied by divided by mass or weight of the adsorbent multiplied by volume of the reaction solution our volume was 0.01 in liters and our mass was mass of the adsorbent was also 0.01 this means that our adsorbent dose was 1 mg per ml or 1 g per liter so the formula is initial concentration minus concentration at equilibrium multiplied by volume in liter divided by vol- mass in divided by mass in grams we'll put dollar sign before and after this to log this value as we we will use these these two values along the 100 till 100 ppm so this is our qe value we will take the log of this value is equal to log of qe at 10 ppm 
and copy this till the end. So we have log QE value and log CE value. If you see the formula, our x is log CE. So we will plot log CE against log QE. Okay. To get the to get the slope and intercept. Our log CE will be on x axis while log QE will be on y axis. We'll select a scatter plot. We'll select a scatter plot. Let give this name friendly adsorption nice with so this is our log at friendly adsorption isotherm we'll add a trend line linear trend line and we will display the the equation and r square value this is our we will change the font okay so from here from this equation you know your mx or your slope is slope is equal to 0 0.5391 and intercept is 0 0.6828 this is the intercept value as you know from the equation, our slope is equal to 1 over n, or we can say that slope is the 1 over n value is 0 0.5391. So the n value will be equal to 1 divided by the slope value. So slope is 1.85. To calculate the k value, k is equal to inter our intercept is equal to log kf. So kf will be equal to anti log of the intercept. So the anti log base 10 of the intercept value. So this is kf value is 4.81. If there is more, uh, if the kf value is higher, this means that adsorption capacity is uh, will be more. As our n value is more than one, so the adsorption conditions are favorable. The, or the adsorption process is favorable. Now we will play with this. Go to the chart design and add axis title primary. Our x axis is log CE. Our y axis is sorry log QE. Remove these. Okay. You can arrange the graph. This is 0 0.5, 0 0.1. And you can add some tick marks. Major and minor outside. No need for minor, I think. Major and it should be solid line and the weight of the line you can increase. I think it is okay. No, in this value, let's see the axis option is let me begin it with 0 0.4 till 2. And let it be zero point one. 
zero point two. Okay, I think this looks good now. The major, you can include the major outside and make this automatic or black and increase its size to 1.5 and also include minor line outside. Okay. In the axis option, we can point zero eight. Zero point three. Okay. And now this line, this can be and straight line you can play with the markers you can increase the marker size go to the marker option and increase its size solid line and the border is solid fill so this is your friendly adsorption isotherm log ce log qe and friendly adsorption isotherm so you will report in your thesis or in your this table and r square value r square value is 0 0.95 0 0.9526 so this is your r square value when you are reporting this you will give n k value and r square value along with the with this graph hopefully now you understand how to plot the frontage adsorption isotherm you know, fit your data into frontage adsorption isotherm if you get some idea information from this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and share with your fellow students and colleagues thank you very much in next video will come with another video tutorial of the adsorption isotherm. Allah Hafiz.